Now you guys are probably wondering what I'm doing standing in front of this beautiful tattoo shop here in Riverside, California. I've had a fair bit on. I know I haven't updated anybody on this channel in a minute. All I've been doing is doing skate mates lately. But uh, let's head on in and I can chat to you guys a bit more. Yeah, I've had a bit on lately. I know I haven't really updated you guys with the channel. I've just been doing skate mates, which has been fun in a sense because it's I like doing those types of videos and they seem to do pretty well on my channel. I've been skating a little bit, but I haven't been really like filming much. Like I don't want to say YouTube skateboarding, but I haven't really been filming skateboarding to make videos for YouTube, if that makes sense. Like I'll get a clip here and there and I'll post it to Instagram, post it on my story or whatever. We're in the middle of summer right now, so it's very hot in Southern California. It's probably like mid 80s to 100 Fahrenheit. So that's about 35 to 40 degrees, 41, 42 degrees Celsius for you guys that use the uh, metric system. I recently quit my job. A lot of people don't know, but I actually tattoo for a living. So I've been tattooing now for like 10, 11 years. The time I came to the States, November 2020, I'd already been tattooing for like seven years at that point. I'm like 10, 11 years deep tattooing now. Nobody really knows about it. I don't really have a good excuse to why you guys don't know much about my tattooing the short answer would be because I've I've only ever like I've never had a real job in my life all I've done is work at tattoo shops and tattoo so my whole life my whole pretty much the most of my adult life has just been working at tattoo shops some good shops some shit shops some not so very good shops and you know everything in between I was working at this shop and it was a really busy fast-paced street shop I started working there during COVID and it was busy like would start at 12 noon there'd already be like half a dozen people waiting to get tattooed outside as soon as we opened the door and we'd be tattooing it wasn't uncommon for us to be tattooing until one two three in the morning since it was so busy back then but since covid has died down the shops all of tattooing has slowed down a fair bit there isn't as much people with disposable income because everyone was getting the stimulus checks during COVID. So people had this free disposable money. They were getting tattooed. It was rad. It's kind of leveling out right now. So tattooing is kind of slow. I was working at this shop and it was three days a week. It was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it was noon. And our last call was at 10 p.m. So often we'd be stuck back tattooing till 11 midnight. So that's three 10 to 12 hour shifts. So I'm basically working a full-time job in three days if that makes sense and there's going to be some blokes out there that are like oh that isn't full-time like full times 70 hours a week brother or it's like i'll work 10 hours a day five days a week plus overtime like whatever this is tattooing tattooing is a, a different kind of thing than like just working a regular labor job or working at home depot or something but anyway this shop had a lot of walk-ins so i could just literally come into the shop sit down and then there was work coming in the door I didn't really have to think too much I didn't really have to draw very much at all and I got very 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 comfortable and the comfortability was a drug half of the time I'd be like this is sick I'm comfy here I can just come in and tattoo then go home do my three days and I'm off four days a week I can just do my YouTube and skate and do this and that and the other I got time for everything but I found I was kind of not using the time to my advantage I'd I'd probably like do stuff within two days and then the other two days were just me like doing nothing, just laying around the house, being lazy, not being very productive with my time. I kind of come to a point with myself where I was kind of like, I can sit here, be comfortable, just sit around and just wait for walk-ins to come in the door or I can try to like put a little more energy and time and mental thought into tattooing and drawing and creating art that will bring clientele to me instead of just waiting for the walk-ins coming in the door don't get me wrong walk-ins are rad walk-ins are kind of like the bread and butter and then you have the extra your appointments and your regular clients and stuff but anyway i'd been working at this tattoo shop for three and a half years and <clears throat> for at least a year i'd been feeling like you know what maybe there's a different approach there's a different way to tattoo maybe like there's something else out there and I just wanted to kind of discover that because for one I am from Australia I'm on the other side of the world I'm here in America America is massive for um, traditional tattooing I really like traditional tattooing and America is like it's literally called American traditional so America is a spot especially Southern California so I would go in between wanting to leave shops and wanting to stay and my fear my ego my anxiety would always 
keep me in my comfort zone. I'd probably hit up three or four different shops in different areas and they were all keen to have me on. And each time it come to pulling the trigger, I would just kind of sit down and just slump back into my comfort zone and not want to be pushed out of my comfort zone. And I kind of figured that out. So I figured, you know what? I need to make a change. Like there's so much change happening in my life right now. I'm about to get married to the love of my life. I just felt like now is the time to be making changes and like being different and trying to be more productive of my time and trying to like really work towards something. I'm not saying that YouTube eventuated to nothing because YouTube has been sick for me. I've met a lot of cool people. I've made um, some really, really good friends along the way. But right now for me, YouTube isn't sustainable. Like I can go and film a video and put heaps of F into it, have fun. Obviously I love going out skating. I love filming, but it's like, you know, I'm going to make $15 off a video, $20 off a video, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks if I'm lucky. It's expensive out here. Petrol is expensive. Food is expensive. Um, I just thought, you know what, like if I've been tattooing this long and I don't really have much to show for it apart from like physical things like cars, dirt bikes, clothes, shoes, all of that. I don't really have this like clientele that are like, oh, Sean's sick. Like come and get tattooed by Sean. Like he's a sick bloke. He does rad tats. It's like, well, what have I been doing? I feel like I've been attacking tattooing the wrong way my whole career. So I definitely needed a wake up call and to just break out of my comfort zone. So that's what I did. I was bummed out. I left work one night, super bummed out, drove home. I was just bumming and my mind would just not shut up. I was having so much trouble just trying to wind down and relax. My girlfriend was already asleep. <clears throat> so I jumped in the spa and I just like looked up at the stars and the moon and I was like, what am I doing? Like, what do I need to do? Kind of meditated a little bit. And I was like, I need to make a change. I need to get out. I need to be around some more artists. I need to be around some different people. I need to change it up. I need to change the pace. So that's what I did. I jumped on Google Maps. Googled a bunch of tattoo shops, and then one that stood out was Unite and Win, which is this one here in Riverside, California. I did some research, did some digging, and then I found out that Wayne was actually the owner of Unite and Win. And I was already familiar with Wayne because I'd seen his channel when I was back in Australia. He does tattooing content, so he's like making videos on like tattooing and all that stuff. Pretty much like the tattoo side of YouTube, if you will, because we have like a skateboarding side. This is the tattooing side. So I hit him up. And I was just saying like, hey, you know, your shop looks rad. I'm trying to network and get out and meet people and like, you know, be around artists and stuff. And at the same time, he was telling me that he's opening a shop in Norco, California. That was already a tattoo shop for like 20 years. It was zombie tattoo for like 20 years. Um, the owner closed it down. Wayne got the building, renovated it. It's a brand new tattoo shop, Norco Tattoo. So I thought, you know what, this is a new opportunity for me to like be a part of something new and like put effort and time and energy into something and see it grow instead of me just kind of idling and just kind of doing what comes my way I have a chance here to like paint draw and take a different approach towards tattooing so that's what I've been doing so I will be working more I will be working five days a week but I still have the other two days to go and skate and do my stuff and edit and post YouTube videos and right now, we're in, like I said, we're in the middle of summer. It's so hot outside. I'm not really doing much skating anyway. So I figured, why not just, you know, go to the tattoo shop. There's air con. You can sit, you can draw, you can paint, you can hang out. Instead of like just sitting at home on the lounge and being lazy. So that's where I'm at right now. This is a very long-winded explanation to what is going on in my life right now. But I can't help but just, once I start rattling it off, I just start kind of rattling it off. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I'll be tattooing five days a week over at Unite and Win, which is this shop right now. We're at 9838 Magnolia Avenue, Riverside, California. And then Norco Tattoo will be at Norco Tattoo, 1805 Commerce Street, Norco, California. So both shops are like within 10, 15 minutes of the, each other. So I'll be working sometimes here. I'll be working sometimes in Norco. So yeah, if anyone wants to come and get tattooed, I have some flash I've been working on. Maybe I'll chuck some up right now. You can check out my work. You can check out my tattooing Instagram. It's Sean Enox Tattoo. So go and have a look at my work. If you're a local here or if you're traveling and you're coming through California and you want to get tattooed, hit me up. I'd love to tattoo your next tattoo. We can make something sick. Even if you just want to talk about what you want to get, let me know. We can, uh, we can link up, do some sick tats. I'm just trying to approach tattooing as in I've got time to just sit, chill, draw, paint. 
I know exactly how I want to do this tattoo. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to study, and I'm going to do the best job I can instead of just, you know, it's good to be able to work on your feet. People come straight in the door, walk-ins. This is what I want to get. No worries. Bang, 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 bang. Done. But it's fun to, like, actually, like, do stuff, tattoo stuff that you want to tattoo. Like, you want to tattoo your designs. You want to tattoo your ideas. Most of the time, the clientele are open for that. They come to you wanting your art, wanting your tattoos. So that is my plan. I'm going to be tattooing more. I'll be skating this summer still. But it's not going to be as much because it's hot as tits outside and I'll be working more and I'm about to get married. Dude, it's crazy. Like, I'm living the dream right now. Like, I come from Australia, I come to America, found a rad girl, going to get married. Like, things are changing in my life. This is, like, the evolution of myself. I'm trying my best to, like, keep it moving. And Spencer, Nuz Spencer Nuzzi, sorry, Nuzzi, Nuzzi. Spencer Nuzzi always tells me, like, dude, just go with the flow. And I feel like I'm one of those people that are like, no, I can't go with the flow. I need to know each and every exact thing to worry about so I can worry about it and I can plan ahead. But that's really just the anxiety. My therapist says a healed mind doesn't plan. So I'm just trying to chill, take it as it comes, go with the flow. That's the biggest take I need to take is just going with the flow and seeing where it gets me. So yeah, this is a long video. I've talked a lot. Hopefully that's everything you guys need to know. If you want to get tattooed, hit me up. Sean Enox Tattoo on Instagram at Unite and Win, Norco Tattoo, California. Come and, uh, come and get something sick, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I'll just I'll just uh, come back and forth here. Dude, my, my balance feels like a baby giraffe. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, toast slide, dude. Oh my god, so sloppy. Hit the parking block right. again. Hit, it up. hit the parking block again. Yeah. Hit that brown. That's right. Hit, hit that shit. Hit that shit. Whoa. Whoa. I feel like I'm in deep on that one. Oh, hit it again. Hit it again. Hit it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh.
There you go. Nice try. You did that really good. You did that even Attitude better. Attitude error, dude. Ah, suck it, Generation X. No chance, sucker, that's <laughs> what you got. Oh man, I didn't think I was gonna get that. Really? That feels really good. I liked it. Thank you, sir. I liked it when you did it. <laughs> Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that junk up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get Trigger Man, bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this Trigger Man stuff from Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas. Special order me a make 